Hello friends, welcome to Squared Plans, where creative planning and organization comes to life. I'm Stephanie and today we're going to be designing an hourly grid layout for the next week in January. I'll be setting up a matching pre-planning half sheet as well, so come play with me. And I've got these washi tapes here ready to go, along with these pens and markers that I'll use, these Happy Planner sticker books, and this Live Love Posh sticker book, which I'll pull from. Okay, let's go ahead and start by laying down some wax paper to get started on this week's design. So this is my third week in this layout where I'm actually decorating it fully and utilizing it as my main catch-all planner. So I'm getting the hang of how I can design these spreads with a little bit more fun, a little more decor, and give them more personality to make planning in them much more interesting. They're very functional, obviously, with an hourly layout, but I think I have an idea of ways to expand the decor a bit and still keep things functional. So for this week, I decided to use these neutral toned watercolor florals from the Live Love Posh sticker book. I thought that the color scheme was a good one for winter florals, not too bright and over the top, but still some, you know, prettiness, some floral aspects for a January spread. I'm also trying out a top and bottom decor theme here. So you can kind of see how I'm bordering the top and the bottom with these florals, along with using some washi tape for some added color. I have a lot more room at the top, seeing as I don't really start my day until around seven and the hours don't really start on the spread until six, which is a couple of boxes down from the very top anyway. So I have a little bit more room, like I would say about a square's worth of room at the top each day versus at the bottom where I pretty much go all the way down to 10 o'clock, um, which is what the hours go to. So I really do use the bottom fairly fully, but since my goal is to set a hard stop time for my work hours at nine, I can push it a little bit there at the bottom, I think, and still get away with some decor and functionality together in that spot. So that's what I'm trying to do here, keeping things fairly low profile on the bottom so that they don't push too far up into the functional space, but do a bit more here at the top with hanging florals and things. Also taking advantage of the spine area, the sidebar area, and the quarters too for a little bit of extra decor in those spaces. And at first I was thinking to just cover the entire top with florals and the entire bottom but I kind of like the breathing room in between them, giving you a little bit of a break, having them feel a little more random as well. So we're gonna go with that. I'm in the Happy Planner sticker book now, looking for a couple of quotes maybe to add to the spread. I do like to have quotes on my spread. I just feel like they feel a bit more complete with a quote. So I'm just looking and seeing what I have. This sticker book is the Happy and Grateful sticker book, which I got in a Be Happy box, which I don't think is sold separately as is, but you may see some of these same stickers in another Happy Planner sticker book, but this one in particular came in a Be Happy box. So I did find this quote that says the future begins now, which I thought would be a good quote for this kind of upper corner here. Like I said, I have a little bit more room there at the top to play with, so I'm straddling the sidebar and the Monday slot with that quote and still keeping everything above the six o'clock hour where things start to begin hourly. To do that, I cut it down so that 
the words could be tightened up a little bit so it wasn't so spread out. That worked well. And then I found another, like a longer but horizontal quote there. This is focus on happiness that I think is a good addition for the bottom half. Again, keeping it at that hard stop nine o'clock limit that I have for myself anyway. And also putting it on the weekends where I probably won't be needing that time slot to be fully planned in, if you will. It'll probably be more downtime or something more uh, fun versus something that's work-related. So I can get away with a little bit more encroachment in that area. So now I'm looking for maybe a box or something for the sidebar. And I found some colorful boxes here in the Sophisticated Floral sticker book, which I pulled. That the color scheme was a good match for these florals. So I'm just gonna pull in maybe this longer colorful box here in the sidebar and use that for some this week items. I will be creating a half sheet to match this theme. And on the half sheet, you'll see that I do have a running list of things to do as well as other events and appointments that are gonna be ready for the week. That's kind of where I'm doing the pre-planning of things. And then on the actual week, I use task flags to time block my time and track my day as the day goes through or the next day after the day is done. So that's how I use it. I will be showing after the pens on Instagram each week, and then I'll also be doing a flip through at the end of the month. So if you really wanna see more of the planning aspects of my planner, that's the place to do it. That's where I show you how I'm using all of my spreads and the functionality of everything that I'm setting up here in these plan with me's. And now I'm adding in a bit of this script washi I also pulled, basically dividing it up into thirds. It's a pretty wide washi. I don't feel like I need that much of it in any one spot on this spread. So I'm just going to, like I said, divide it up into thirds and sprinkle it around here up with the florals to give a little bit of texture to some of these areas, add a little bit more interest and variety. It's also a really great way to add some low profile decor without encroaching again on that functional space. So washi is definitely my friend in this regard. So now we're moving on to the half sheet, and this is just a piece of a grid paper that I printed out uh, with the same grid as the classic and am setting it up for a pre-planning sheet. So what I do on this is I will decorate it as such, and then I'll set it up for the week, including a place to drop in events and appointments for the week and an Alistair method master task list for the week as well. The first thing I'm going to do is, like I said, the decor, and I'm not going to bother doing the wax paper on this one. I'm just going to drop it on the page now that I kind of see what the vibes are on the main spread. I've dropped in a sticker there at the top, and then I did a nice little fold over technique there on the corner with one sticker so I didn't have to cut it, I just folded it over and that worked out. I will try to use up any scraps too that I can from the sheet and any other little smaller stickers. I do like to keep one theme together if I can use all the decor of one theme at one time I do like to do that for that one, there is a second sheet in the sticker book, so I can always just save those. But if that was the last of it, I would try to find a place for that last bit of decor, that last sticker, and make sure that that got used on this one. But since there's a whole other sheet of the same stickers there in the book, I know I can use that on another spread. So now we're dropping in the washi tape, and I should have done this before I lay down the florals, but this works just as well. They come up really easily off of the washi tape. 
So I just dropped him in and now let's go ahead and move all of these stickers on to the spread that I have set up here. And I will be rolling this off. This could have gone smoother. It wasn't like that it was difficult. It was just uh, aligning that washi tape to the very top was the struggle. And now that I'm trying to get it on there, you know, with out, removing it first from the wax paper and then setting it down by hand it's a little bit trickier to go all the way across the spread so I'm just trying to work that out and get the stickers off cleanly and also aligned with the top and I noticed that that was about to start going down crookedly so I kind of reset it before I let it come off the wax paper permanently but overall, not too bad. Everything came off fairly smooth. So we're gonna try the same thing here on the bottom, but I'm noticing that the pages wanna separate, so I'm gonna have to fix that before we commit these stickers to the page so there's not a big gap there in the middle on the spine. And you can see I'm just exposing a bit of that washi tape to get that stuck down and aligned. Things came off okay, but I noticed that this one corner sticker was crooked even on the wax paper, so I'm going to have to reset that one by hand anyway. Let's see if we can get that done before I move on here. And I think that's a pretty good spot. Let's go ahead and do the same rolling off here on this opposite side, making sure everything is nice and aligned. And I did a pretty good job here on the spine, keeping things together, but there is still a tiny bit of a gap. I'll just go ahead and work that out when I separate the pages. Just trim off any excess. And here we want to make sure everything's aligned again. But that all looks good, so we're on our way. Let's go ahead and separate these pages out. And then do trim off any excess, saving those for another spread. Trim off the washi tape as well. If it's too small, I'll just chuck it, but if it is big enough, I will save it because you never know what you might need when you're designing a spread. So I do like to have those extras. They can come in handy for sure. And we're close here, just a few more edges to trim. And then we'll get started in on the functional aspects here, setting those up for the week. Oh, but first I do need to clean out the holes. I don't want to forget about that. So I'm just going to use my precision cutter from Slice to do that, just clean them out by hand. And my little cutting board there makes it easy to do here on camera. And just trim off any excess that was left over in the spine, like I mentioned before. And a few more holes here to clean out. I mentioned this before, but I basically don't trust my Happy Planner Punch to do this correctly. Everything always catches in that, so cleaning them out by hand has been the easiest method for me <laughs> for the longest time. Okay, so like I said, we're going to get ready to do a little bit of functional setup here as well. So I have a few pens ready to go, and this first is just a fine liner from Pigma in a 03 tip. And I'll write in the days of the week for this week. I'm skipping about four squares each time, and I just wanted to make sure that that would fit with the way that I have it set up, and I think it just barely did, so that was perfect. I've got those in. I've also got this highlighter set that I got from Stationery Pal a little while ago. It's got just the right shade of pink, kind of like a dusky pink, not too bright, and I think that ties well with the washi and the florals. I'm just highlighting the days of the week, 
on each one of those and that should do it for the front for now. Next, we'll move on to the Alistair method list I'm going to create in the back for my running weekly task list. And here I will highlight every other column for Monday through Sunday, just so I have a good, clear vision as I look at this chart of where I'm at throughout the week. And if you want to know more about Alistair method lists, I do have a video on it. I will link it below in the description. Yeah, I can get you more details about how to build one of your own. So I have that set. I'm also going to drop in my video production chart that I like to make here in the sidebar. And this time I'm using the highlighter to draw the lines. Usually I do use a fine liner for that, but I like the lightness of the pink on this week's chart. So I'll probably do that again in the future. Let's go ahead and put a header on this. It says this week and maybe just the date span here on the back. I'm also going to just add a little remember here in the sidebar where I have that colorful box. And once I am done with that, you guys, we will be done friends. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up down below. Also too, go ahead and leave me a comment if you'd like to get in touch. And think about subscribing to my channel if you haven't already, if you'd like to see more of my videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And we'll see you next time. Bye.